We have made it to Friday after a few peaks of sunshine today. We are seeing the clouds make their way back into the valley now. And not a lot of rain showing up on the radar from these, but temperature-wise, we are still quite pleasant. In Fargo, it's 59 degrees. Wind now from the north at 10 miles per hour. Moorhead, you have 57 degrees. Up north, we're seeing some cooler air punch its way southward. It's 48 in Langdon, 52 Roseau, and 50 for Thief River Falls. That cooler weather slides all the way into Lakes Country, where we have Detroit Lakes at 55, 64 in Jamestown, Gwinter at 66, sizzling degrees, and it's a degree better this hour in the Sisseton area. Not too bad in Wadena, 61. Twin Cities at 71 degrees. It's 81 in central South Dakota. Cooler still as we look up towards Williston at 47. Here's your uh, satellite and radar composite. Showers near the Williston area keeping things a little cooler. That changes over to snow and some cooler air to the north near Saskatoon. This is all gliding eastward and will move along that Highway 2 corridor as we go through the evening. So if anybody does see showers, it will likely be confined to those northern counties. We do have some clouds making their way through the south, but as of yet, they have well not produced any rainfall. Your hour-by-hour hour forecast shows our wind switching directions to a northerly one, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And there are your Highway 2 showers as we go through the 8 to 10 o'clock hour, and those will continue to work their way through. Notice they're pushing more southward as we go into the 10 o'clock hour, and that's a cooler surge of air working its way in. So we'll wave goodbye to the 50s as we head to bed on our Friday night. We'll dip down only into the 40 degree range for most areas. It looks cloudy and look at the winds picking up already by daybreak, 15 to 20 miles per hour. And notice this, along the South Dakota border throughout the early morning hours, a chance for some showers there. Should stay south of the I-94 corridor, so that's where the best chance of some Saturday sprinkles will be. And we're expecting only a few one hundredths out of that, up to around a tenth of an inch of rain. Now, as we take it into the afternoon hours, that precipitation dives south and eastward. The wind dies down just a bit. We stay cloudy. We're only going to be in the 40s as we go through our afternoon. So a big time change of as many as 20 degrees difference from what we saw today. Start out the day 43, 44 at 8, 44 at 10. You get the picture. Not much change in our temperatures throughout the day. North winds will keep the raking a little bit difficult as we go through the afternoon. Low 40s north, mid to upper 40s south, and that'll be about all we'll muster for our day. A gorgeous shot uploaded by Tiffany Quality. Quality, rather. I'm sorry about that. It is quality photo there, Tiffany. And uh, you can look at those by logging on to valleynewslive.com. Taking a look at the next two days, as we close out our weekend, we'll get back to seasonal for this time of the year. We'll see a little bit of sunshine as well, and then warmer as we head into Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, temperatures will peak in those upper 50s out there. Above average, during the day, we'll have some pretty stout south winds as well. It'll be pretty gusty. And then an area of low pressure moves over us for the evening when the ghosts and goblins come out. So trick-or-treating time forecasts are looking to be falling out of the 50s with a chance for some spotty showers of rain as well. The rest of the seven-day planner looks like this. Tuesday, we're expecting temperatures to be in the mid-50s. That's still above average. And we close out the work week with a little bit more in the way of sunshine. There we go. Nice. Finally, it's uh, good to see it today, wasn't it? It was. Felt great. Yeah, yep. thanks, Hutch. Mm -hmm. BMW is recalling thousands of vehicles. What you need to know if you drive one. Up next.